What are you looking forward to? Summer vacation, the next episode of your favorite show, curling up with a good book? How about the death of the universe? Isn't that a cheery thought? In the final scene of The Sopranos, Tony's sitting in a diner eating onion rings. Journey is playing on the jukebox, and shady characters are entering the restaurant one after another. And then all of a sudden, Tony looks up and... Yeah, people were a little disappointed. They were disappointed because we never found out how Tony's story ends. And it's the same with your story or mine. The ending hasn't been written. But that's not true for the universe. Thanks to science, we know how it ends. Spoilers, it doesn't end particularly well. In just 100 years, we'll all be gone. You, me, every person who's alive today. If the age of the universe up till now was condensed into one day, our lives would be over in less time than a bat is in contact with a baseball. On the scale of human lifespans, the stars may appear fixed in the sky, but they are moving. And in 100,000 years, not a single constellation we know today will be recognizable. But since our brains are fine-tuned to see patterns, I'm sure we'll find new ones. Speaking of bears, by this time, the Cubs have almost certainly finally won another World Series. Of course, nothing in science is guaranteed. Unlike Chicago's World Series hopes, disasters are a matter of when, not if. Sometime within the next half a million years, Earth will almost certainly experience a climate-altering volcanic eruption or be hit by a one-kilometer asteroid. Not enough to cause a mass extinction, but still, I hope we're viewing it from afar. As the sun gets older, it's getting hotter. 600 million years from now, our amped up sun will cause more carbon dioxide to be trapped in Earth's crust, so much that photosynthesis becomes impossible for 99% of Earth's plants. By 800 million years from now, every green thing on Earth is dried up and all multicellular life with them. Unfortunately, that includes us. We wouldn't want to be around for what comes next anyway. A billion years from now, our amped up sun boils the oceans away and only bacteria remain. By 2.8 billion years in the future, even those tiny stragglers have run out of time. Life on Earth goes, Ooh. We had a good six and a half billion years, didn't we? Around this time, the Milky Way collides with our neighbor Andromeda. It sounds violent, but galaxies are mostly empty space. Maybe six out of a trillion stars explode into fiery balls of supernova death. Assuming our star makes it out in one piece, by this time, it starts to run out of gas. By 7.9 billion years, our sun swells up more than 250 times wider than it is today. Mercury and Venus are toast. That planet-eating balloon deflates 9.5 billion years down the line, leaving a white dwarf in its place. At this point, things cool off for a while. Literally. In 150 billion years, we lose sight of the Big Bang. The cosmic microwave background has cooled to a point that it's undetectable. And thanks to the expanding universe, we lose sight of all galaxies but our own. After a trillion years, stars stop forming in the universe, but it takes 110 trillion years for them all to flicker out. And this is where the sky goes dark. But Earth is still around until one quadrillion years from now. And then, like all orbits, our orbit decays and we plunge back into the black dwarf that used to be our sun. Over the next 10 to the 25th years, the dead star that remains will transform into a black hole. Even the largest black holes will likely evaporate thanks to a phenomenon called Hawking radiation. As the minuscule leftovers continue to expand, anything that remains will be stretched so far apart that it really doesn't and isn't matter at all. After that, the universe is basically empty. So what's the point of anything if it all ends? In 2012, Sopranos creator David Chase finally explained the meaning of that final scene in The Sopranos. He said, it's a cold universe, and I don't mean that metaphorically. If you go out into space, it's cold. It's really cold, and we don't know what's up there. And we happen to be in this little pocket where there's a sun. And what have we got except love and each other to guard against all that isolation and loneliness? Stay curious.
These videos are part of a PBS-wide collaboration all about the future, so head on over to these other great Digital Studios channels and check out their videos, because the future is going to be here before you know it. T.S. Eliot once wrote, I will show you fear in a handful of dust, by which I assume he meant these guys. How many live in my bed? T ten, 10 million. I'm never sleeping again.